We're here today on May 26th. We're at the Arlington Research Station north of Madison, Wisconsin. It's part of the University of Wisconsin uh, research series of stations. And talking to Ben Brockmuller today, who works with the uh, UW Organic Program, about uh, a really great rye study that you guys are conducting. Um, yeah, tell us about this uh, rolling crimping and what you're looking at to help um, help us help us advise farmers on how to better do that. Sure. Yeah. So we're um, planted rye here, into, and we're planning to do this into a roller crimp soy, uh, system. So we'll be planting soybeans, and we'll be roller crimping it once we get to the anthesis stage, which we can see behind us is just starting to to get there with the anthers coming out. So Brock, this is the beginning of anthesis or pollen shed, right? Correct. Yep. So I can see those anthers coming out kind of at the middle of the head, but they don't even look like they're shedding pollen yet. So this might have been the day. Yep. Very early anthesis Great. still. Um, so we have uh, three different varieties, or actually I should say four different varieties of rye that we're looking at. So Aroostook, uh, ND Gardener, Danko, and Spooner are the varieties. And then we planted those at three different seeding rates. So one and a half million seeds per acre, 2.25 million seeds per acre, and three million seeds per acre. And what we're interested in doing is looking at the different varieties and the different seeding rates and seeing um, how much biomass they produce and uh, also what their uh, potential for lodging is. And so we'll take a look, kind of a visual lodging measurement, um, measure the stem diameters as well, and then go in and do some uh, biomass clippings to get total biomass for that. So what other factors of the varieties are important for this roller crimping system? Um, so the, uh, the earliness that it reaches anthesis is an important okay. factor as well. And so we're going in here every day, kind of taking a look uh, at these plants here and seeing once we reach this stage of about 50% anthesis, we'll, we'll take a note of the date and see how that compares between the different varieties. And then what variety are we standing in here? So this one here is a rustic, and we planted this at 3 million seeds per acre. Okay, I know a rustic came out of the University of Maine and it's one of the earlier varieties we have available, right? Yep, that's correct. Okay. So you may not need the earliest rye variety, but you want it fairly early, and that's why you've selected these four, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So, um, what did you, this is the second year you studied? What can you tell us about last year? The results, just a brief summary. Yeah. So the first year of the study we did this, we didn't see a huge difference between uh, seeding rates or variety in the amount of biomass that we saw, but. Uh, lodging potential was different, so a rustic uh, tended to lodge a little bit more and ND Gardener a little bit more than some of our other varieties. Um, and that seemed to correlate pretty well with the, the width of the stem, and so uh, the thicker the stems, the better the standability, and also the shorter plants tended to, to stand up a little bit better than our taller varieties like a rustic and ND Gardener. Okay, so lodging may be correlated to height. Yes. Right? Yep. Okay. Anything else we should look at here? Um, yeah, so typically we like to see pretty good ground cover, so um, at this point we don't see a lot of weeds coming through. Uh, we're at the field edge, so there's some, uh, some weeds coming through here, but as we get into the field there's a lot of density and uh, pretty good weed suppression throughout. And so this, is, uh, this should be a good amount of biomass for us as we go into planting. I've got to appreciate, Ben, the amount of uh, detail you're going to on this, of measuring stem diameter to give an indication of, of lodging, uh, measuring tillering in the fall and the spring. It's really wonderful work you're doing. Thank you oh, thank so much. You. Thank you.